The Apollo filter includes an easy to release clamp around each filter unit, so cleaning the discs is quick and simple. Before cleaning the discs, make sure the system is not under pressure. To avoid the vacuum phenomenon when removing the cover, make sure to drain the water from the filter. The filter can be drained through the drain valve located on the filter body. Pull out the safety pin and open the clamp. Do not insert any sharp tools or objects between the cover and the body as this may damage the hydraulic seal. Remove the cover. Unscrew the butterfly nut on the filtration cylinder. Remove the tightening cylinder. Remove the discs by placing a rope through the center of the discs and tie the ends together. Place the discs in a cleaning solution. Thoroughly rinse the discs with water. Then reassemble the discs on the spine. Replace the tightening cylinder and tightening butterfly nut until it stops. Ensure the cover O-ring is in the correct position with the holes facing out. Place the filter cover on the filter body and secure it with a slight clockwise rotation. Reposition the clamp, close the lever, and secure the safety pin. Step 1. To make the 10% peroxide solution, mix 1.8 gallons of water with 0.8 gallons of hydrogen peroxide. Soak the discs in the solution for 1 to 3 hours, making sure the discs are loose and have good contact on both sides with the solution. Step 2. To make the hydrochloric acid solution, mix 1.8 gallons of water with 0.8 gallons of hydrochloric acid. After rinsing the discs with water, soak them in 10% hydrochloric acid solution to remove any organic residue. Then remove the discs and rinse well with water. Return the discs to the spine. Flush the filter bank a few times to remove all chemicals. Step 1. Make a 10% hydrochloric acid solution and soak the discs. Stir the discs in the solution. Then rinse the discs. There should be only a pale sedimentation on the discs. Step 2. Make a 10% peroxide solution and soak and stir the discs. Remove the discs and rinse with water. There should no longer be any residue between the grooves of the discs. Return the discs to the spine assembly. Flush the filter bank a few times to remove all chemicals.